Welcome, my friends. The absolute value is the distance of a number from zero on the number line and is represented by vertical lines around a number. For example, the absolute value of 5 is the distance from 5 to 0 on a number line, which is simply 5. The absolute value of negative 9 is the distance from negative 9 to 0 on a number line, which is simply 9. Many people think of the absolute value function as the function that makes numbers positive. If the inside is already positive, it stays positive, as was the case with the absolute value of 5. If the inside is negative, the absolute value makes the value positive, as was the case with the absolute value of negative 9. Let's look at some equations involving the absolute value. Consider the absolute value of x plus 10 is equal to 20. In order to solve this problem, first isolate the term with the absolute value to one side of the equation, meaning we must subtract 10 from both sides. That leaves us with the absolute value of x is equal to 10. Now our equation asks us, what value for x has a distance from 0 of 10? Well, there are two numbers. Both positive 10 and negative 10 have a distance from 0 of 10. Therefore, we have two solutions, either positive or negative 10. Let's try another one. Consider the absolute value of 3x minus 6 is equal to 3. Thinking of absolute value as the positive function, the outcome of 3x minus 6 could either be positive 3 or negative 3. And either way, that would satisfy our equation. If 3x minus 6 was equal to positive 3, the absolute value would have no effect, and the equation would be true. If 3x minus 6 was equal to negative 3, the absolute value would change negative 3 to positive 3, and the equation would still be true. So we can change our problem into two separate equations, as we have here. 3x minus 6 is equal to positive 3, and 3x minus 6 is equal to negative 3. Solving the equation on the left, we can add 6 to both sides to get 3x is equal to 9. Dividing by 3, we get x is equal to 3. Solving the equation on the right, we can add 6 to both sides to get 3x is equal to 3. Dividing by 3, we get x is equal to 1. Our solutions are x equals 3 and x equals 1. How about this one? The absolute value of 5x minus 15 is equal to negative 10. Recall that absolute value is the distance of a number from 0. Since distance is always positive, it is impossible for the absolute value of a number to be negative. Therefore, the absolute value of 5x minus 15 will never equal negative 10. And therefore, there is no solution to this problem. There will always be no solution whenever the equation states that the absolute value of some quantity is negative. Absolute value cannot be negative. Let's try a few more. We have negative 8 times the absolute value of x plus 3 is equal to negative 80. Don't get confused here. There is a solution to this problem. We do have a negative number on the right-hand side of our equation, but once we do a little bit of algebra, it will be cleared away. Dividing both sides of the equation by negative 8, we get the absolute value of x plus 3 is equal to positive 10. Therefore, x plus 3 could either equal positive 10, or x plus 3 could equal negative 10. Solving the first equation, we subtract 3 from both sides to get x is equal to 7. Solving the second equation, we subtract 3 from both sides to get x is equal to negative 13. Our two solutions are x equals 7 and x equals negative 13. Okay, one final problem. We have the absolute value of x minus 8 plus 6 is equal to 6. The first step for all of these problems should be to isolate the absolute value to one side of the equation. We can do this by subtracting 6 from both sides. This leaves us with the absolute value of x minus 8 is equal to 0. 
there is only one way that x minus 8 can have a distance from 0 of 0, and that's if x minus 8 is equal to 0. We don't have to worry about having two solutions if our absolute value equation is equal to 0. Adding 8 to both sides, we get x is equal to 8 as our solution. Alright my friends, that completes our video over absolute value equations.